Step 10 continued. We may not, as a society, even a globe, have a cure for mental illness. But we can certainly have a starting point to some solutions for a mental illness. Friends, it took me over a decade to find a balanced life with my mental health. I still suffer every single day with my symptoms. Mania, hallucinations, depression, paranoia, panic attacks, anxiety, and so much more. Yet I fight against them every single day. And I've accepted my diagnosis as legitimate. And in doing so, I've come out to the realization that denial needs to disappear. And I've learned what recovery really means. It's an everyday battle. It's an everyday struggle. I will fight with this battle until the day I die of natural causes. I will never end my life by my own hands. I will never attempt to take my life again as I did when I jumped off the Golden Gate Bridge because of mental illness, because of psychosis, because of bipolar disorder. I will never get to that place again because as soon as I am in the danger zone of suicidality, because I have chronic suicidal thoughts, I will walk myself into a treatment plan and I will get the help that I desperately need. I will go to my family, my friends, my support network, and they will surround me and they will keep me safe if I cannot keep myself in that kind of a position. I will never take my life because I know the wake of destruction it causes in my path. And I lived. You can live too. You can be well. You can have hope. Listen, if you are having suicidal thoughts while watching this video, if you're having an inclination of ending your life, take a note and a page from my book. Recognize that pain as real and call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255. 1-800-273-TALK. If you're a veteran or active duty military, you call that number and you press 1. If you need help, don't hold it in. Don't suck it up. Don't listen to when they say, be a man if you are one. Listen to me. Everybody needs help. Everybody needs hope. And everybody needs a plan. Find your routine within this 10-step plan. This 10-step guide to hope. Live a beautiful life. And live free from suffering most days by fighting that suffering because you can. To everyone watching these videos and who's now gotten to the 10th step and the end of the program, I sincerely hope this aids you in a big way. Because you know what? Hard work plus hope plus healing equals the art of wellness. This has been a quick guide to hope. My wish is that it's affected you in a positive way. Reach out, send me a note, put a comment under all the uh, videos you've seen, and let me know what you thought. I want to hear your voice. I want to listen to your stories. I want to read what you've gone through and how you've come out on, a, on the better side, onto a better way, onto the way forward. Zero suicides. We're going to get there. You've just experienced the 10 steps to the art of wellness. This has been a quick guide to hope from 17th and Montgomery Productions and KevinHindsStory.com.